Stepping up to the couch, it's Brian, who led the league last season in cracked screens. But with his new athletic case, it looks like that won't be the case. <laughs> Touchdown, Brian! Stepping up to the couch, it's Brian, who led the league last season in cracked screens. But with his new athletic case, it looks like that won't be the case. <laughs> Touchdown, Brian! To run through a big fourth down call here. Newman will throw. Pass is complete. Bachman spins out of trouble down the sideline. Inside the 10, knocked out of bounds around the 5. They'll say he stepped out at the 9. First and big fourth down. Slam. Touchdown. Wake Forest. Sage Surratt from 9 yards away. They can move around to the slot. Inside handoff, big hole up the middle. There goes Pollard. Touchdown Memphis, 41 yards. <laughs> I was sure that was home. <laughs> Newman had a solid first drive as Wake Forest took it 75 yards for a touchdown. Scotty Washington comes up with the catch there. Holder was missed another few games. I think that's why he's really played well, given the opportunity he's had to play. That one's incomplete on third down. And let's see what Wake wants to do. White going up top, throws into double coverage, and the pass is caught inside the 20 by DeMonte Coxey. What a grab between two black jerseys. Live formation. Now they'll split out. Empty set. White under center. Quick throw to Taylor. Touchdown. Creativity at the one yard line. Here's some heat from Memphis. Newman, far side, passes batted in the air and incomplete. Right. <laughs> Here comes some pressure from Wake Forest. And down goes Brady White. He is sacked back around the 26 yard line. At historic. Legion Field, if you count the 1940 and 49 Dixie Bowls. Third down coming up, big play, and that one is picked off. The Tigers have a chance. Chris Claybrooks, touchdown, Tigers 37 yards. Rested. They've had to punt twice and then through the interception on their last three possessions, but they pick up the first down here out to around the 45-yard line. But you just got to give it to him. Put air on it or just find a way to give him the football. Come back over the middle. Pass is caught. Gain of 13-yard line. Add more guy to the box for the run game. Bringing some pressure here. Newman gets the pass away, and it is dropped. And it's good with nothing, couple of punts and an interception. Actually, the interception was a pick six. There goes Pollard, an electrifying return man. Touchdown, Memphis, 97 yards for Tony Pollard. Of course, three of eight on third downs. Newman to throw. Coming near side, pass is caught, still on his feet. Goes Kendall Hinton. Said he felt like he owed him to stay around for the bowl game and coach him up. There goes Kendall Hinton dancing around. He'll have a first down. He wanted to be the head coach, and he said he just couldn't pass it up. Here's Newman, big hole. He's to the 15, to the 10, and dropped around the 8-yard line. And without a defensive front, your three starters are out. Memphis in some hurt now. And save Surratt. Newman will keep it. Dive for the end zone. He's in. Play with one there. Third down and 10. Here's White rolling left, throwing, and incomplete. Newman, little play action, flag comes down, going over the middle, pass is caught, 
Inside the 20 yard line by Scotty Washington. To throw there for a big time play. 19th catch of the year for Scotty Washington, the red shirt junior. Newman keeps it, runs left, and he'll get it to the 10. Breaks the tackle to the end zone. What a run for Jamie Newman, 17 yards. For Wake Forest. Oh, fake. They will throw, and it is incomplete. Memphis bench thought there might have been some early contact. I don't see any flags, and Wake Forest is going to take over. Bachman's down in the slot. Newman stands in the pocket. Caught. They will spot it at the 29. Actually, they're going to say incomplete now. In 69 yards and a touchdown. Three-man rush. Forces White out of the pocket. Still nowhere to go, and he's dropped. Cameron Glenn. A loss of six. This Memphis offense averaging 43 and a half points a game. And that one is picked off at the 45 of Memphis by Demetrius Kemp, the senior linebacker with his first interception. D line in a minute. And Wake Forest going to run right at that defensive front on third down and about five, they'll get a yard. And here we are, you know, it's one of those situations where with Wake Forest, kicker not a great leg. So but big third down play here for Memphis. Four man rush on third down, the pass is incomplete. They were trying to hit Slade, Henderson on the coverage. Open back in 1992 and gets more than 150,000 visitors a year. Newman going up top. Catch is made around the 30-yard line by Alex Bachman. What a throw and catch for Wake Forest. Huge catch. Newman pump fake. Pressure comes and he's dropped. Drop back at the 41-yard line. It'll be a loss of eight. Pressure comes. Wake picks it up. Bachman makes the catch. He gets it back to the 30, close to the original line of scrimmage. So now it's... Fourth down and ten. And he's got it. A new career long. And Wake has now put up 20 unanswered points. A story that certainly has ended as well as it possibly could have. High throw incomplete. Trying to hit Pop Williams. And you waited your Georgia career to play as a senior. And Newman, who's playing as a redshirt sophomore, picks up that first down, but not 100% confident about his kicking game, so they go for it a lot on fourth down, but his guy just made a 49-yarder. Newman dancing his way, and did he get enough for the first down? And they will. Points. Five-man rush. Newman hit from behind as he throws. It's incomplete. This one from 39. He's hit from 36 and 49. Kick is on the way, and it, it is dead solid perfect. 11 straight field goals made. Over the middle. Incomplete. Trying to hit Coxey. He's saying Bassey there, going to be up and ready for the starting job. Let's to make this offense go. Over the middle, it's incomplete. Trying to hit Devontae Coxey. He's saying Bassey, their best cover guy on the back. On third down, Newman stands in the pocket, throws. Far sideline, incomplete, looking for Surratt. It's incomplete, and punts in an interception. They've totaled 66 yards leading to this drive. White flush, lofts it up, and that one close to being picked off. If he can have a big-time play here throwing the football down the field. Newman, 19 of 36, throwing the football today. Pressure comes. He is dropped at the 35, and that Memphis defense stands tall. 
Tim Hart bringing him down. It's fourth down. And Porter. White has some time to throw. Wide open receiver pass is caught. That'll be good enough for a 24 yard pickup. Snap it with 120 on the clock. They give it to Taylor, breaks a tackle. Touchdown, Memphis. Back out in front. He likes to tell people you can't overcome some bad things in life. And when football's over, my man's going to go ranch some cattle. He's trying to ranch some Demon Deacons right now, but there's Bachman. Caught. He's to the 25. Down to the 21 yard line and out of bounds. Big opportunity here to be the hero. Back shoulder throw. Caught by Bachman. No spot him at the one. 35 seconds to play. He's in the hands of Newman if I'm calling the play. Newman keeps it left side. Touchdown, Wake Forest. He's going in the other direction, but you got to wonder if it comes down to it, does that creep back into the mind? Three man rush. White looking for somebody to get open. He's going to go deep, has a man at the 29 yard line. Joey Magnifico with the catch, still on his feet inside the 20. Oh my goodness. 15 of 19, he'll have to wait a moment. They're going to get it to the middle of the field. They probably saw the same thing you saw, DJ. And they're going to play for the tie. And a 43 yard attempt. Plenty of leg. He missed it. Wake Forest wins the Jarrett Birmingham Bowl.